Hey, it's Nick from T7 Training. We've got a quick tip for you today regarding line charts and how to handle those gaps that turn up in your line charts. Or to put it another way, how to handle blank data in your data table when making a line chart. So let's have a look at this example here. We've got product A, which is this blue line, and we've got a zero in the data, which is represented by a zero in the line chart. Whereas we've got this piece of data here, which is blank. And because it's blank, we don't know what the number is. So it's represented as blank in the line chart. But perhaps you want that blank to be represented as zero, or you want it to simply join between these two points. Very easy to do. I'm going to click this chart. I'm going to the chart design tab, and I'm going to select data button. Inside of that at the bottom left, you'll see hidden and empty cells. Inside of that, you'll see the three options you're looking for, which is gaps, zero, or connect data points with the line. What to do when it reaches an empty cell. I'm going to set this to zero. It does exactly what you expect. Now that blank is being represented as a zero instead of as no data, and the line goes down to zero. With the same button, pressing hidden and empty cells, I'm going to choose connect data points with line, and sure enough, now it joins those two known numbers and connects them together even though there's a blank in the data. You can see the other two options in there. Inside of this, if I go to hidden and empty cells, we've got show hash in A as an empty cell. So you can control what this chart does if it sees a hash in A in the data and it will do whatever this instructs it to. And also you might have noticed that when you filter data that the chart changes what it's representing based on what's visible from the filter. And you can stop that from happening by ticking this tick box just here so that filtering has no effect on your chart. So that's how to control blanks in your data in a line chart. Thank you for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next T7 tip.